welcome to this session once again so now in this particular session we're going to cover the expense tracker tool yes if you cannot track your expenses you cannot control it right it applies to each and everything in our life so let's see how can our amazing expense tracker help you out in tracking each and every goddamn expense and even control it so let's go ahead first of all to make a copy of it go check out the description of this lesson and make a copy of it okay now let's go ahead and check it out let's go ahead and check it out so uh, when you make a copy of it it opens up like this we have four sheets in fact majorly three sheets instruction expenses and expense analysis and again as always in each and every tool expense instruction sheet is where you need to read the instructions okay so it's very simple first of all you need to go to the forms in the form you need to go to the edit form when you click on it you automatically open this form called expense tracker yes so here first of all the first variable that we are having is called date because one person from your company will be responsible on adding each and every expense whenever it is being done so they need to put up the date here then what is the expense head is it on the advertisement or business promotion or the charity or the commission or the computer accessories electricity finance cost it expense office expense marketing expense and whatnot we've created more than you know 26 kind of expenses and you can definitely go ahead and reduce or increase as well because this is a drop down so this will be totally cool for person to use it then description of the expense it is mandatory you can make it unrequired as well optional here the person need to actually write down what is the why did they make an expense the description of the expense then what was the payment how did you make the payment cash credit card debit card google pay paytm neft check you can edit this question again according to your comment what was the total amount was it 50 rupees was it 500 rupees or was it 5000 or maybe 5 lakh rupees then which employee was you know responsible for this particular cost right for example if you're talking about facebook marketing so your marketing executive is responsible for this cost because he's running the facebook ad so although he's not paying for it you're paying for it as your company but he's the one who's going to controlling it who's going to make you give you the roi on this expense which is made you can choose which uh, employers used it and then finally invoice copy okay uh, invoice copy uh, you your person need to upload the invoice copy either in the pdf or any format here it is always available for us to choose which format do we, do we want to allow now this is again you can make it mandatory you can want that you need an invoice receipt so that it is saved at your backend database as well once you set up this particular form second step what you need to do is that as an owner or as an accountant in your company you should get notified on each and every expense which is being booked so what you can do is that you can click on the add-on and remember there's a beautiful add-on called form notification form notification does two things first of all as a form owner it reminds you that somebody has filled the form second somebody who fills the form if you're capturing their email id it sends an email notification to them as well right remember great here we are talking about only the first scenario where you as a form owner uh, or maybe you if you add a couple of people's more id email id only these people will be notified whenever accountant or maybe somebody who fills the form so simply go to the form notification add-on click on open and uh, here you can see that i have added automatically the email id of two people i've added the email id of mine and of accounts you can uh, you know put up account id email id of any of your people especially the accounts person and it says send the notification after how many responses so by default it is 10 you need to reduce it to one and simply go ahead and click on the save configuration as well so what is the benefit of having this is that each and every time whenever your one teammate is filling the expense form you or your account team get notified with that as well however make sure that one person is responsible for filling up all this and all other people who are making expenses they should submit that invoice in details to him or her and he or she should be filling up its center place so that all the data gets captured in your invoice in your expense tracker tool so once you make the changes in the form and once you switch on the form notification add-on then it's up to it's now cool it's now a tool we can actually run the tool and we can see how the expense are being tracked and how we are getting the beautiful expense analysis as well right cool can we start now we're going to use the form in real time and see how the expenses are being captured and how the analysis is coming up so if you see the expenses sheet by default we have already add one data here just delete it okay 
and uh, let me go to the form and go to the live form okay now let me fill it up first of all let me choose any of the date for example let me choose 7th expense head i can say that okay it's on the it expenses okay and i can say maybe the g suite subscription right as an example what is the payment way it is by the credit card the amount for example 2000 expense made by maybe employee one and here you can upload the invoice copy let me see if it is yeah it's not mandatory so if you have an uh, invoice copy you can click on upload add file and you can go ahead and upload the invoice copy as well as an example i'm uploading something here so it is done and you submit it or maybe your employee submits it okay let me just open this yes so we have submitted one expense here which comes under the it expenses and you can see that the uh, description is g suite a subscription the payment method is credit card amount is 2000 employ one invoice copy all that stuff right and have a look the accounts id which we had made as uh, the person who should get notified on the google form notification has automatically got this notification called expense tracker form submission detect detected and in fact on my email id as well i'll be getting this email called form submission detected so this uh, form notification is my favorite add-on because it really helps not only the customer with the automatically email notification the customized one but you as an owner as well when somebody fills the form so one is called it expense let me fill the form once again okay and uh, this time employee three is going to make an expense and it was maybe three days two days back and uh, this time maybe computer accessory and uh, for example somebody ordered a webcam and mic and the payment method was again neft okay and the amount was twenty thousand expense made by employee three and invoice again here you can upload the copy as well depending upon your choice so we have made two expenses till now one is on the computer accessories second is on the it expenses it maybe software expenses so here we have two of them right now great awesome we did not upload the invoice copy that's why here it is coming as blank it's up to you if you can make it mandatory or not right so here automatically this will keep coming up so this is the best part of the expense tracker tool that you can go ahead and share this tool by going to the send button in the send button you can go to the link and you can uh, copy this link and put it on the whatsapp group of your team the description of your whatsapp group or maybe you can uh, share it on the google meet or uh, or maybe you can put it on the interest ideas yes, interest ideas is one of the amazing topic which is going to cover all the forms i know you're you know by crazy you're creating so many forms so many sheets and you're wondering right now okay well where am I going to put all these form and sheets? Just wait and watch. I'm going to give you an amazing tool called Intranet, Intrasite, where you will be copy pasting all the forms and sheets. Okay, and that will be a central place where all your employees will be either entering the data or fetching the data. Yes. So going into the Intrasite, yeah, this will be coming in upcoming lessons uh, in the next uh, few ones. And uh, yes, the expense tracker you can share with your employer or either on the internet, the WhatsApp or the email or many other way, and they can keep filling it up and automatically the expense tracker are being captured here. Now let's go to this interesting sheet called expense analysis. Have a look. This is the beauty. That is why I love Google Sheet. I love G Suite so much. It makes things so easy. So we did three pivot table here. Okay. First pivot table is helping us in uh, expense head analysis. Second is helping us in date wise expense made and third is helping us in expense employee wise so expense head wise computer accessory 20,000 ID expense 2,000 and it is saying 22,000 we could have add the month as well depending upon you you are expert in pivot table now go ahead and try it out second was date wise here you can see date wise is date wise is coming as in fact date if you can maybe uh, create a pivot date group you can actually change it to the month as well so for example 2020 June this is the total sale done in each and every month and here the finally you is the expense made by each and every employee so how is this tell me how is it isn't isn't this interesting 
all three expenses analysis coming in just one single sheet the credit goes to the uh, pivot table credit goes to the google sheets data analytics uh, capability so pivot table is the real hero uh, here so go ahead and try it out and maybe change according to uh, whatever you want here yeah go ahead what are you waiting for whatever you're waiting for go ahead and try it out and make your amazing expense tracker tool and capture all the expenses in one place and you will be able to control it i look forward to see you succeeding in your business big time and you become a success story of our rank b program look forward to see you in the next lesson guys take care bye bye okay, well, this side. see you bye bye